Last week, Elon Musk walked into Twitter's headquarters with a big grin and carrying a porcelain sink. Subsequently, his tweet, Let that sink in, went viral on the social media platform. He changed his description in his Twitter profile to Chief Twit. This is how Musk, the CEO of electric car maker Tesla and also the world's richest person, announced his takeover of Twitter. He bought the social media platform for $44 billion. This deal is a culmination of a remarkable saga full of twists and turns that saw doubt over whether Musk would complete the deal. Musk said he wants to defeat spam bots on Twitter. He indicated that he sees Twitter as a foundation for creating a super app that offers everything from money transfers to shopping and ride hailing. He also hopes to prevent the platform from becoming an echo chamber for hate and division even as he limits censorship. As soon as he took office, Musk fired Twitter chief executive Parag Agrawal, chief financial officer Ned Segal and legal affairs and policy chief Vijay Agade. He had accused them of misleading him and Twitter investors over the number of fake accounts on the platform. There are reports that several employees across the company are likely to lose their jobs. On the other hand, Sri Ram Krishnan, an Indian origin technology executive, is helping out Elon Musk. Sri Ram Krishnan is a general partner at Silicon Valley venture capital firm Andreessen Horowitz. Musk also announced that he will revise Twitter's user verification process. Twitter will charge $8 for its blue service, which includes its sought after blue tick verified badge. However, more than 80% of Twitter users who took part in a recent poll said they would not pay for the blue tick. He is also expected to let former US President Donald Trump return to the platform. Trump was removed from Twitter after the attack on the US Capitol.